Well, the real inspiration was my grandmother, who is living with dementia. And she was in the car with me and my dad one day, and she said, my friend is missing. The book is told by Maud, who is in her 80s, and she's convinced that her best friend Elizabeth has gone missing. And all the people around her keep telling her her friend isn't missing, she's just forgotten seeing her recently. But she's determined to investigate because she's spurred on by this memory of her older sister Suki disappearing in the 1940s. And so the two kind of ideas of Elizabeth being missing and Suki being missing uh, start to become confused in her head and one investigation kind of prompts the discovery of the other. I wrote it because I wanted to explore what it might be like to have dementia and that was the focus for me. But I also knew that I really wanted to have a good plot, something that would pull the reader through because it was going to be a difficult journey. When I started to do research, I found that people tended to repeat patterns of behaviour. I thought, well, if that's the case, then if she's going to be obsessed with an investigation now, and mystery now, she has to have had a mystery in the past that's kind of prompting her. I realised that that obsession was going to be really important to Maud. It had to also be really important to the book. There's this kind of idea that somehow people are losing their intelligence when they're declining. And actually, she's not. She's still intelligent. She's still articulate. It's just there's kind of an inhibitor. I wanted her to still be able to be interesting about the world and, and expressive and that she's still noticing things and they're still meaningful in some way. So I guess uh, sometimes she's not able to be practical but she's still able to be beautiful about something.